first ever fish I caught would have been at the age of about three. And it was a roach on the River Thames in London. In the last 12 months, my favourite catcher would be a wild trout of getting on for four pounds from the River Usk, just on the edge of Wales. And it was, yeah, it was a really stunning wild fish, my biggest ever actually. My most prized item of fishing tackle would be a Daiwa feeder rod. Uh, it's really old, it used to belong to my dad, and uh, you can tell it's old because it says made in England on it. <laughs> If I could hold one British fish record, it'd probably be a pike. Um, just because I love the species, it must be my favourite. My favourite place to fish in the UK would probably be the Somerset Levels, just because you've got so much different water. It's the sort of place you can walk for miles and not see anyone, and it's, yeah, just really underfished, it's wild, it's beautiful. My pet hate in angling is, is um, apathy, full stop, just people who prepared to whinge a lot about the sport but not really prepared to, to do anything about it like um, no, I just believe that even if you do a little bit do something if there's one thing every one of us could do to help fishing it would just be to take a newcomer fishing whether it's a workmate or someone in your family you know a youngster just take one person fishing each season if we all did that we could transform the sport Best piece of fishing advice I've ever had, especially being a tall and clumsy person, is to be careful not to scare the fish. I remember the quote from Walker saying, you'll scare more fish than you ever, you ever thought you did. And I think there's a lot of truth in that. We think so much about rigs and bait and things that we, yeah, we, we, we keeping a low profile is, a, is an art form, especially if you're big and clumsy like I am. Very much an all-rounder, um, I, I like all kinds of methods, but if I had to pick one it would probably be fly or lure fishing. I know I've slightly cheated there, but they're, they're both very direct, both very mobile, and I'm a bit of a fidget, so lure or fly fishing would be right up there. My favourite person to go fishing with is, uh, is probably my dad. He's the person I've been fishing most with since I was tiny, actually. Since my dad isn't here, I can probably tell you this, that I'm, I'm almost certainly the better angler. Although, actually, in terms of being able to enjoy a day's fishing, I don't know anyone who gets more fun out of it than my dad, which is why he's good company. I really shudder to think how many rods I've broken in my lifetime, and other people's rods, I have to say. I've smashed mates in car doors, I've stepped on my own. I should think it's at least ten, and I'm, I'm probably keeping several tackle companies in business. It's so still fairly hush hush, but I received a special award as one of Matt Hayes' Angling Heroes for his new programme. So I'm really proud to have received that. It's lovely to be recognised. My most embarrassing moment in fishing, well, it's actually three for the price of one because I was taking a, um, a female friend of mine fishing and I must have been about 18. Um, and first of all, she managed to smash the chair that I'd given her to sit on. And next, I managed to smash a net handle, and then I managed to, I think, smash the tip of a rod in the same session. And the people on the opposite bank were in absolute stitches. Uh, I wasn't at the time, <laughs> I have to say.